Hello, I'm Griffin Bauer, and today I will be having a book talk on The Beak of the Finch by Jonathan Wiener. It was a great book. I loved reading it. It really gave me better insight on what uh, evolution really is and how Charles Darwin and Peter and Rosemary Grant helped uh, with the studies of evolution. All right, we're going to get right into this. Um, the central idea discussed in this book, um, there's three parts to this book. For the first part, the main idea is really how Darwin's theory of, of evolution came to be. And um, how the finches, Darwin's finches, one right there, how the finches became famous. The second part has to do with Peter and Rosemary Grant, like I mentioned before, and their research and what they've been observing every year when they go to the Galapagos Islands. Sorry. And the third part talks about how this research is being used today to help further the knowledge of, er, of evolution. Sorry. Um, Evidence that the author used to support the book ideas. I'd really say research. A lot of research has been put into this book. And you can see every other page, there's just drawings. I mean, there's a finch riding a Galapagos turtle. There's one specifically on page 41 that I found that has to do with um, ground finches. It gives information about all of their names and drawings. I mean, the drawings are extremely helpful. Um, a passage I found significant. I found one on page 8. I will read it to you guys. It says, Today, more and more evolutionists are doing what Darwin thought impossible. They are studying the evolutionary process not through fossils, but directly in real time in the wild. Evolution in the flesh. Evolution comes from the Latin evolutio, an unrolling, unfolding, opening. Biologists are observing year by year and sometimes even day by day or hour by hour details of life's unrolling and opening right now. Yeah, this really talks about how much has come from Darwin's research and what, like, I mean, it's, it's such an important asset in like all science classes and what we've been learning, which is what I'll get to later. Um, actually what I'll be getting to next is how to, this book relates to our curriculum. Well, we learned about the biosphere and we learned so much about evolution. And I mean, I, I'm going to be honest. I wasn't really completely understanding about what evolution was and this book really helped me get a better understanding of it. Next, a summary about what I've learned. Well, I learned that evolution is very complex. That's obviously why I didn't get a full understanding of it the first time. And that it isn't easy to go out and research these finches. I mean, Peter and Rosemary Grant go every year and these Galapagos Islands where there's no food, no water. They have to carry it all onto the island with them. I just think it's very uh, impressive what they do and how they get manage to get all this research. Same for Charles Darwin. Um... I'd recommend this book to anybody who really didn't understand evolution the first time around when they were learning it, and also anybody who's really interested in science. Amazing book. I mean, anybody who loves science. Winner of the Pulitzer Prize. Yes, I had very fun reading it. And uh, thank you. See you guys soon.